<laughs> hey guys, it's Kelly and today I am so excited because I am coming at you not from a parking lot, not from the weekend's only parking lot, my friends, but from beautiful Napa Valley, California, here at Goat Rock Beach. I have the all new 2022 Infiniti QX60 behind me. We are going to be diving into this today. I am so excited. The vehicle has been completely redesigned for 2022. And I'm gonna be honest, the last model I had some gripes with, but I'm gonna point out the differences and the upgrades that they have made, especially when it comes to the car seat and family department. If this is your first time joining me, hey, I'm Kelly and I'm the car. I review cars for moms and for families. I'm a mom of two, a certified child passenger safety tech and a former car salesperson. Please subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up and comment below about which car I should tour next. Let's get started. So Infinity has brought us here to take this vehicle all around Napa Valley. So we have been driving all around and that is why we're at this beautiful location. So let's get started with the exterior. Like I said, completely redesigned. If we start with the front grille, we have some really beautiful gloss black that I think plays really nicely into some of the chrome. She's got chrome everywhere. Love this. This little imprinted infinity sign right there, I think that is so stunning. We go into some beautiful LED headlights with this geometric shape right here. And at night, the lights really play off this beautifully. It looks amazing. Our hood lines are very subtle, but they still definitely make a statement. I love this one that comes up right there. I think it's stunning. Let's move along and talk about our side profile. So we start with those wraparound LED headlights, and then there you can see kind of the nice angle that the body lines give. And then we go right into the beautiful side profile. Now we are doing the autograph trim level. It's the highest trim level available. On this trim level, you can see you get the black roof as an option. So I think that looks amazing, especially when we're doing a lighter color like this one. That black roof looks awesome. Loving the chrome detailing. And I like how it continues to stay open. It really kind of like doesn't cut the vehicle off and kind of elongates the body. I think that looks fabulous. Talking about the wheels, beautiful two-toned wheels, gorgeous. A little faux chrome like running board type thing down there, kind of nice. Chrome on the door handle, not obsessed with that. I think that kind of ages the vehicle a little bit. But one thing I do like that they changed for 2022 is they put the comfort access on all four doors. So from a mom's perspective, I love that no matter which door I'm looking at, who knows where my keys are? They're in my diaper bag, they're somewhere. I can just unlock the vehicle from any door. I think that's a huge, huge add. Coming around to our back end, we start with this rear spoiler. I do kind of wish this wiper blade was just tucked under here just to kind of clean up the back end. Some great wraparound tail lights. I like that they stop the tail lights right here because I really don't like the look of that. Like that's on like the navigator and the aviator. I like how they stop that to kind of break it up. Beautiful chrome. Obviously double space chrome right here because that's my friend is what's trendy right now. Like I wear golden goose sneakers because they're trendy. Car brands double space their letters because that's what's trendy. All wheel drive badging right there and then QX60 badging. These kind of kill me. These like fake like little square tailpipes in chrome. I mean, they're just for looks, but they're not square tailpipes. When properly equipped, this vehicle can tow up to 6,000 pounds, which is really, really good for this size of the vehicle. Okay, exterior, she's beautiful, she's refreshed. I do really feel like this vehicle finally feels so separate from the Nissan Pathfinder. So if you don't know, Nissan owns Infiniti. In the past, I thought the vehicles were so similar. With this redesign, I'm really starting to notice some differences and I feel like the Infiniti feels a lot more luxury because it is a lot more expensive. Let's get into that interior. Okay, let's start with this door panel. A lot to break down here. I do think the materials used here, there's a lot of materials, but honestly, it's kind of coming together and it looks very cohesive. I'm loving this textured exposed wood trim, some beautiful chrome. We've got the saddle brown interior, which I think looks great. I love it against some of the darker contrasting. We have contrast stitching here and in the darker leather, which looks so cute to me. Down here, let's talk about side cubbies because side cubbies are one of the most important things in my opinion. These are all we have guys, sorry, we had to travel light. That works, that works, that works. So I would say up to three cups right here, which is beyond exciting to me. Okay, let me get you on this side. We'll talk about the rest of the interior. Okay, let's break down this interior. There is a lot, my friends, to break down. A lot of great features in this vehicle. Um, to start with, we have a completely digital display. I love digital displays. I think they look awesome. I think they provide better customization. And this is kind of a cool feature. It tells you who has your seatbelt on in the vehicle. So that is such a good feature from a mom's perspective because then you don't have to look back there and wonder who has their seatbelt on. It just lets you know. For those of you worried about car seat installations, it does have a sensor so it would 
not show that they were unbuckled if, if um, a car seat was installed with the lower anchors. Heads up display. Love heads up display for so many reasons. Basically, if you don't know, heads up display displays information onto the windshield. So you guys can't see it, but I can see it. I can see the speed limit. I can see how fast I'm going. I can see any incoming calls I have in. I can see the navigation in here. I just think it provides like a level of safety because you're literally not taking your eyes off the road. Kind of breaking into this infotainment system. It's a completely touchscreen display, which I really, really like. Again, like Nissan Infinity. I just, we, we're, we don't want the orange anymore. We just don't want the orange. It definitely looks better. Like I'm definitely impressed and that just could be me from an aesthetic standpoint. I just think like they've had the orange for so long. I'm just kind of over it. Or like give me the option to customize. Like why can't I make it teal or carmine blue or pink? I don't know. I'm being a little picky. But it does have a 12 point, um, a 12.3 screen that is not embedded, which I do normally prefer screens that are embedded, but I'm actually okay with this one. It's slightly angled, so I feel like I have good visibility there. This quilted leather is just out of control. I mean, look at how cute this is. Amazing, again, with that wood trim right there. And then we go nicely into all of these great vents that look just really integrated. Nothing looks random. Like, you wouldn't even see them unless you were, like, looking for them. This, my friends, this is an issue because it is... It's called Piano Gloss Black, and it's, don't get me wrong, it is beautiful. Unfortunately, it is Fingerprint City. So keep a microfiber towel in your glove box, but just know like it is going to show all of the fingerprints, which is fine, but I just feel like it's one part of our car that like doesn't have to look dirty as a mom until they put this Piano Gloss Black in it and like then it looks dirty, but it looks amazing. It's no, like very minimal buttons. This is actually all kind of like a touch screen, but it does vibrate. So that's kind of cool. We've got ventilated seats, heated seats, and massaging seats in this trim level. So all the things to talk about. A great wireless charger right here. Two really nice size cup holders, actually. Like I know for a fact my reduced water bottle would fit in there. So I'm loving the cup holders. Shifter, a little bit different. Definitely space effective. And then we go into some other infotainment things down here. Auto hold, one of my favorite features. If you don't know what auto hold is, essentially you turn it on when you get in the vehicle and then whenever you come to a complete stop, it will catch the brake and keep the vehicle parked, but you could take your foot off the brake. You're like, Kelly, when would I ever use that? Starbucks drive through my friends. The grade school pickup line, my friends. Any stoplight, my friends. Auto hold, if you're not, if you have it in your car and you're not using it, give it a try. This is exciting. Underneath here, we have the purse holder. Love, love, love the purse holder. Keeping things off our floorboards, having a place for our purse, for our sunglasses, for things for our kids. Love that addition of that cubby space. Looking into the center console, you know, it's okay. For the size of the car, which was a little bit bigger, but it is fairly deep. Yeah, it's kind of a small center console, but that's okay. Nothing's perfect. I do love like the stitching in this leather. I mean, aesthetically, like, she looks amazing. Um, I really like this feature as well. It has the rear view camera. So if you flip that open, you'll just see what's actually behind you. So I love that because if you have kids sitting in the third row or you have a lot of cargo in the third row and you can't see out of it as easily, or if, especially if you, had, if you had the bench seat and there was a tall passenger in the bench seat, it would affect your visibility. So being able to quickly flip that on and off, I think is really awesome. You can also drive with this. Some people don't like it, but you can see how easy it is to flip on and off. We have a great panoramic sunroof. It only goes to the second and the third, the, the first and the second row. There's nothing for the third row. We'll talk about that in a minute. But overall, I'm really excited about how luxurious this car feels. I mean, it really does feel like it's finally competing with like the Audi, the BMW, the Volvo, the Mercedes. It feels like a luxury car. I mean, it is a luxury car. So let's get to that second row. Okay, so let's chat a little about the second row. I have this seat set for myself. I'm pretty tall, about six feet tall. Look at this knee clearance I have. This is some insane room back here. Like I'm actually really impressed. We love built-in sunshades, love built-in sunshades. Some side cubbies down there, a really good size, definitely could fit a great size water bottle. This little leather back pocket is pretty shallow, but all is good there. I also kind of like this area right here to kind of give those third row passengers and second row passengers a place to put their feet. To like actually get into the vehicle. I sometimes think that is so, such an afterthought, so I'm really happy to see that. Um, these seats are on track, so you can go forward and backwards to give the third row more room or the second row more room. So right now I have it pushed all the way back. Let me push it all the way forward. And then you can still see the knee clearance I'm working with, again, with this seat set for a very tall driver. Okay, we've changed locations. Um, now we are at McAvoy Ranch. We're about to have lunch, but I wanted to finish talking about the car seat setup. So 
Come on in, I'm gonna sit for a second. You have two options in the Infinity QX6. You have a bench seat or you have the captain's chairs. Let's talk about the bench. We'll put some footage over because we found one earlier. The bench seat has five lower anchors instead of the typical four that we see in a lot of vehicles. Now when you have five lower anchors, what you have is car seat flexibility. So it gives you the option to be able to install a car seat in the middle seat with the lower anchors or either outboard seat. However, it's important to note, we read the owner's manual, you cannot share lower anchors in the QX60, meaning that you can only have one car seat per set of lower anchors. So it's great, but it's not like, it's, a, it's not like you can fit three car seats all with the lower anchors installed. So again, it offers flexibility. It doesn't necessarily offer more car seats. It also comes with the car seat friendly tilt, which we will hopefully show you in a minute because they have a car seat here. When you have the car seat friendly tilt, you're able to access the third row when you have a car seat installed, but only when that car seat is installed with the lower anchors. So let's talk about lower anchors for a second. It is a great way to install a car seat. No, it is not any safer than the seatbelt install if not otherwise noted by your car seat brand. One thing to note about lower anchors though is that they have weight limits. So again, it offers a lot of convenience, but at some point the seatbelt has a higher weight limit. So you might not be able to use that car seat friendly tilt for the entirety of your child being in a car seat. Just wanted to throw that out there. So in the captain's chairs, we have lower anchors on either outboard seat. Every seat, whether you get the bench or the captain's chairs, has tether anchors. That offers amazing flexibility for forward-facing car seats because you obviously need tether anchors for forward-facing car seats. Now, in the third row, we do have one set of lower anchors on the driver's side seat. So we're just like playing around with the car seats because they did have a maxi cozy booster seat here. I kind of wish I would have packed a car seat now because I can't show you what a rear-facing car seat looks like, but again, you would have plenty of room to be able to install them in the second row. Probably, definitely not in the third row. I think it would be very difficult. Um, but uh, the booster was able to fit securely right there. Like I said, I was able to get a pretty successful install with the headrest, but the headrests are removable if you need that for your specific model. I'm gonna take this car seat out. I'm gonna put it back in the second row. I'm gonna demonstrate that car seat friendly tilt for you. Oh, the doors. That's why I wanted to turn the camera on. The doors. If you just note how big these second doors are compared to the front doors, I really appreciate the amount of space I have. Because again, as someone who's like constantly like in and out with a pumpkin seat, I feel like I have plenty of room that the doors just like open wide enough. I know that's minor, but like that's a big deal for me. Okay, gonna demonstrate that car seat friendly tilt with you. I just wanna reiterate, lower anchors have weight limits. Read the car's manuals, read your car seat manuals before you think about utilizing this feature. It is awesome, it does not work for every situation. All right, let's see, button right here. Installs and you can go right in. Now again, you cannot do it if a, children, if a child is installed. They cannot activate it from the third row when a child installs or when a vehicle is in motion. So rest easy. I know it looks scary, but like your child is not in it. It's a great feature and it's a great, when you're thinking about like family planning, I always encourage my families like, if you're gonna buy a seven passenger car and you only have one child right now, where are you gonna be in five years? How many more kids are you gonna have? And it's not just fitting them, it's getting them in the vehicle. So I like that the vehicle thought of actually how to access the third row when we have car seats installed. So that's kind of an overview about the car seat setup. If you have specific car seat questions though, I highly suggest you contact a certified child passenger safety tech to review your specific setup with you. Okay, let's finish talking about the second row. So in the second row, so comfortable, right? First of all, ceiling vents. And you know what's great about this car? They did ceiling vents with a sunroof. So don't think you can't do both. They just put them over here. I think that's amazing. We also have, as far as our um, passenger comfort's concerned, we've got our own climate control down here, heated seats in this trim level as well, a USB-C, a USB, and actually an outlet. We're currently charging our camera, charge your breast pump, charge your crock pot, not a crock pot, that'd be a little much, but charge whatever you need to. Now, this, center, this little center console thing, What's exciting about it is we're provided cup holders. We're provided a cubby space. And the best part is, this is actually removable. So all you have to do to remove it, okay, you just pull this part off. You're like, oh my gosh, I bro broke it. No, you didn't. Then you go in here and there's like a little plate that you put up at. And then that's all you have to do to remove it. So like, first of all, it's so lightweight. It's so easy to pop in and out. And then you have an aisle to the third row. And what's also great about this is like, you know, it has a little bit of like indents and like some things to step over, but it's not that bad. Like if I'm thinking back to some of the other vehicles that have had this, they have much more aggressive like bars sticking out of it. This seems pretty minimalist. So I'm actually pretty excited about that. And I just love how easy it is to pop in and out. Okay, so let's chat about some third row access. So whether you have the bench or the captain's chairs, an upgrade for 2022 is that they have the car seat friendly tilt on either seat. So again, car seat friendly tilt comes into play when you have a car seat installed with the lower anchors, not the seatbelt, because the seatbelt is not attached to the seat, it's attached to the door. 
Now, I like the car seat friendly tilt because it's just one button. It's very easy. You have an option to do it down here. You also have an option to do it on the back of the seat. What I like about this option is, let's be honest, like who's getting in the third row? Children, right? So it's helpful to me that they don't have to like be tall enough to reach all the way back over here, that they can just press this button and it tilts the seat automatically. Now, if you're like, whoa, Kelly, that looked aggressive. Don't worry if the car is moving or if there's if there is a certain weight limit, it will not activate that tilt. So you don't have to worry about a child in the third row activating it to a children in the second row. Okay, I'm gonna hop back there. Back in the third row, quickly I'm gonna break down my amenities before I give you an idea of spacing. We have ceiling events in the third row as well. This is again new for 2022. That's amazing that we're not forgotten about back here. We also have USBs on either side and two cup holders. They also, my friends, these are, this is only two seats back here, which I'm sure was a difficult decision for Infinity to make because obviously an up to eight passenger car sounds a little bit more marketable, but I'm so appreciative that they just didn't even bother with it because so many times manufacturers do that and this middle seat ends up being like so small that no one can even sit at it. So just know you're getting two seats back here, but you're getting two comfortable real seats. As far as our headrests are concerned, they're all, they are all removable. We checked, double checked. So you can also recline the third row, which I really like for obviously a little bit of driver's comfort. It also makes it a lot easier to get a tight installation on a child's car seat if you're able to recline the seat. Okay, let me pull this back. Okay, so when this seat is pushed all the way back, my knees are completely pressed up against it, which is fine. Okay, so now we've moved this seat up as far as it can go, and I have some really great knee clearance here. So when it's pushed all the way back, obviously it's a little bit tight, but with, with a push it forward, I have a lot more room. So that's really awesome. That's awesome. I appreciate that the floorboard isn't too elevated. Like I'm not getting that knees to my chest sensation. Overall, I'm actually pretty comfortable back here. My head clearance is pretty good. One thing I don't love, especially for the highest trim level, there's no sunroof for the third row back here. So it doesn't some of the other luxury cars like the BMW X7, the third row has a sunroof. So I would have kind of liked to see that because that is, I mean, you don't have any nice lighting back here. But overall, I'm pretty comfortable and I just can't say enough how much I appreciate them not trying to throw a third seat in here because it really does just overcomplicate things. It's just, it's not it and it doesn't work. So this is just a lot more transparent in my opinion. To get out of the third row, very easy to do. There's a button on the back of the, of the seat. You just press it and it slides forward and then you can hop out. Trunk time. Okay, let's talk about the trunk in this all new 2022 Infiniti QX60. It's 14 cubic feet. I don't totally pay attention to cubic feet only because like a cubic foot equals the air. And like that doesn't always equal that it can fit a stroller. I did not bring a stroller with me on this, on this adventure, but I will be able to give you a good idea if a stroller fits. First, let's talk about how we open up the trunk. It has the little kick thing underneath it. Honestly, I just like never have success with that. So I'm just gonna hit this button right here and it pops right open, it's just a little button. So here's the trunk space we're working with with the third row up. Let me remove this backpack, sorry. So again, about 14 cubic feet. Underneath here though, this is where it gets exciting. Underneath here, first of all, this is on hinges, so it will lock at actually any position. I'll obviously put it all the way up. It gives you quite a few more inches of room. So this, my friends, is what I would do to fit a stroller. Now, I have reviewed almost all the mom cars out there. I can confidently say this could fit for sure my Eva Baby Vista, Cruise, possibly the Mockingbird with both seats, you know, in a perfect world. So having this extra part definitely helps. Now, is it the biggest trunk ever? No. Is it pretty decent? Sure, this is a game changer. If it didn't have this, I'd be a little bit more disappointed. And like we love extra storage space. So even if you don't didn't need to use that or if you don't have kids in strollers, like this is fabulous. Like we put towels, we put tennis shoes, we put soccer cleats, anything that you would need. Let's talk a little bit about how to put these seats down. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about how to put these seats down. So very easy, pull the headrests, those go right down. No power to put them down, which is fine because like this takes no time. I honestly hate power seats sometimes because they take so long. Those can lay flat. One thing I'm not obsessed with, my friends, is that you can't put down the sec you cannot put down the second row from the third row. Not the end of the world, but just something to point out. You would have to manually go put those down. Let me go put that seat down to give you an idea of some of the cargo space we're working for when you do that. So obviously a lot of nice cargo space, and then you can either just take these tabs to pull the seats up, or you're able to manually, or not manually or you can use those buttons to bring enough power. So, just kind of interesting. 
Okay guys, so that is going to wrap up my tour of this all new 2022 Infiniti QX60. This car, I'm actually really surprised by it. I really feel like they took note of some of the comfort and convenience features and some of the car seat features that we like as parents and as mothers. I like the addition of the ceiling vents in the third row, the car seat tilt on both sides. It's got 14 cup holders. It's got up to seven USBs, wireless charging. So like it just, and every row has some amenities, which I also think is really important. Like I love that the third row, although it doesn't have a sunroof, they still have vents, they still have cup holders, they still have USBs, like you're not, and they have a way to um, get out of the third row. So I just don't feel like you're thrown back there. So I really appreciate that. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for Infinity to inviting me. Um, and I'm just feeling really blessed and grateful to be the car mom today. So thanks for watching. Hey guys, let's build my very own 2022 Infinity QX60. So they don't have like the full build your own out just yet, but I am just gonna kind of like take you through this like information page and kind of tell you like what I would do. I mean, this saddle brown is working for me. I'm gonna be honest with you. And I really, really am kind of, yeah, there's lots of options. See, the problem is I don't totally know. I think I need to, I just don't know like which color and what interiors are gonna be available and what trim levels. Like I'm having a little bit of confusion there. Um, like I said, just because it's not all the way out yet. But I mean, I really think that this with the quilted is beautiful. So I'd probably, I mean, if I could make it, I would probably do this one. Um, let's talk about the colors. So I really love the black roof. I just really feel like it elongates everything and looks really sharp. And honestly, this gold, this gold with the black roof, like this warm titanium, I can't believe I'm saying I like a gold car, but like in person, it was beautiful um that's like a little too blue for me and then I really like this color too so I'm probably gonna go with this one this is the one that I was test driving all weekend too okay so when it comes to the trim levels like I said I can't like click on these but I actually really grilled infinity there because you know that's what I do and I was like what is bang for your buck best trim level so when you start with just the regular pure it really does come with a lot of standard safety features but I do feel like, and also power tailgate was included as well. The car seat tilts included. It's so like the, the car seat setup's the same in all of the vehicles. I do feel like I would go up to the Lux all wheel drive though. Um, and again, I can't really like get all the information I'm looking for, but I just, cause it doesn't listen here. This is kind of annoying. Eh. Um, but you get, you get all the standard safety, you get all the standard safety features. You get a few more comfort features like the ventilated seats. You get sunshades with this, with this trim level. So I do feel like this one's most bang for your buck. It sounds like, again, I don't have all the information, but it sounds like the sensories and the autograph really just, um, give you some more luxury features. One thing to note though, is you can't get captain's chairs until you go to the autograph. So these are all the bench, but I actually really liked the bench in the infinity. So like I said, I would do this Lux with the bench seat. Okay. Thanks.